Nvidia's latest gaming graphics card, the GeForce GTX 1070 Ti, is now available. So in this tech spec review, we're going to take a closer look at this new beast. As you'd expect, the GTX 1070 Ti sits between the existing GTX 1070 and GTX 1080 cards, which launched last year. Spec-wise, the new 1070 Ti is actually much closer to the 1080 than it is the 1070, with 2,432 cores versus 1,920 for the 1070 and 2,560 for the 1080. The clock speeds of the 1070 Ti are also very good, with a base clock of 1,607 MHz and boost clock of 1,683 MHz. Like the 1070 and 1080 cards, Cars, the new 1070 Ti has 8 gig of memory. With many 1070 Ti cards available at £439, we put the new card through its paces versus the similarly priced Vega 56, plus a variety of other graphics cards. All the cards were tested in one of our 3XS gaming PCs, which you can see the full spec of on screen now. To make the comparison as fair as possible, all the cards tested were stock clocks models without any factory overclocks. As we were only testing high-end graphics cards, all the benchmarks were run at the highest quality settings. All the Nvidia cards we tested with the latest 388.15 driver, whilst the AMD cards were tested with the latest 17.10.2 driver using a fresh install of Windows 10 Home. The first game we ran all the cards on was Bungie's new online shooter, Destiny 2. Destiny 2 appears to be very well optimised, running at a very high frame rate on all the graphics cards we tested. As such, with an average frame rate of 121 frames per second, the 1070 Ti is arguably overkill for playing this game on a 1920x1080 monitor. Even when we upped the resolution to 2560x1440, all the cards performed well, although the standard 1070 was beginning to struggle with the game occasionally feeling a little sluggish. The 1070 Ti on the other hand was much faster, speeding along at 69 frames per second, barely any slower than the significantly more expensive 1080. Interestingly, the Vega 64 took pole position in Destiny 2 at 2560 by 1440 although it's so much more expensive than the other cards, it's hard to justify the price. We also ran the latest Warhammer 2 edition of the incredibly popular RTS franchise Total War on all the cards. This latest instalment adds in Lizardmen, High Elves, Dark Elves and Skaven as playable armies for the first time. Just like in Destiny 2, the 1070 Ti turned in very similar performance to the 1080 in Warhammer 2, with only two frames per second separating the two cards far too small a difference to actually be visible by the human eye. Given the attractive pricing of the 1070 Ti, this makes the new card a real bargain if you're keen on Warhammer 2. TimeSpy is a popular synthetic benchmark by Futuremark and measures the ability of a PC to render several different 3D scenes at 2560 by 1440. As we saw in the real games, the 1070 Ti performs much closer to the 1080 than the 1070, achieving a very fast score of 6,939 points. This is a fair bit faster than the Vega 56, which lagged behind with 6,280 points. All five of the graphics cards are VR ready, so we also ran the VR Mark test by Future Mark to see how fast they really are for VR gaming. Once again, the 1070 Ti proved a real champ, with the second highest score, speeding past the much more expensive Vega 64 card, showing that if VR is your thing, an Nvidia card is the way to go. At £439, the new GeForce GTX 1070 Ti neatly fills the space in the Nvidia lineup between the £375 GTX 1070 and the £489 GTX 1080 cards. For the last couple of months, that gap was being exploited by the AMD Radeon Vega 56, but now the GTX 1070 Ti is here also. In both games we tested, Destiny 2 and Total War Warhammer 2, the GTX 1070 Ti proved faster than the Vega 56, 
Whilst the same was also true in the synthetic benchmarks, TimeSpy and VR Mark. What's more, even the basic blower edition GTX 1070 Ti's are considerably quieter than the Vega 56, which makes a loud whooshing noise when gaming. Given that both cards currently retail for a very similar price, the GTX 1070 Ti is clearly the better card. In fact, the GTX 1070 Ti offers such good performance that it makes the aging GTX 1080 look a little bit worse for wear. This is because averaged across all six benchmarks, the GTX 1070 Ti was only 4% slower than the GTX 1080. On the other hand, the GTX 1080 is an average a significant £50 more expensive than the GTX 1070 Ti, making the new card the one to buy. This is even more apparent when you overclock the GTX 1070 Ti. We tested a variety of cards from partners such as EVGA and Asus and easily overclocked the GPU from its base clock of 1607MHz to well over 1750MHz, boosting the car's performance by around 6% making it faster than a GTX 1080. Of course, GTX 1080s can also be overclocked. The point is that the new GTX 1070 Ti can produce GTX 1080 performance at a much more affordable price, making it the new go-to graphics card this winter. Visit scan.co.uk to browse an extensive range of GeForce GTX 1070 Ti graphics cards. We also offer a huge range of pre-built and configurable 3XS systems featuring the new GTX 1070 Ti.